Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for June 26th of 2024 is titled Time Lapse, Aurora, SAR, and the Milky Way. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a time lapse that we're going to watch and put on repeat so we can take a look at it as it keeps running through the cycle. And we will see down toward the bottom there, especially toward the left hand side, we can see the pink and purple glow of the aurora. Now the aurora is ca caused by charged particles from our sun, which strike Earth's magnetic field and fu are funneled along toward the poles. There they interact with atoms in the Earth's upper atmosphere, which causes the, those atoms or molecules to glow. And those are what we are able to see here down below. So we can see the purple and pink of the aurora caused by the activity of our own sun. Now that's not the only thing that you'll see as you look at this. You also see what is called a SAR or S-A-R. And what that is, is a similar to the Aurora, but not quite. It's actually S-A-R stands for Stable Auroral Red Arcs. Now, so those are the SARS. And what do they mean? Well, they're not an Aurora, and they're not even stable, although they look stable. Now, where do we see that in this image? Well, if you look at that red glow that kind of goes up over the around over and around the Aurora, that is the SAR. And it only seems stable relative to the Aurora itself. The Aurora is constantly changing, even over the period of just a few minutes, while the SAR seems to stay essentially the same. Now the cause of the SAR is a little bit different it is, as it is related to what is called the Earth's ring current, which is a circuit kind of going around Earth. So it's a little more tied to Earth than to specifically the Sun. Now the other thing that we see here in addition to the Aurora and the SAR is the Milky Way. And as we watch the image you can watch the Milky Way as it rises up and gets higher and higher up above the horizon. Now you can see that there you can see the distinct star clouds the bright star clouds rising up over the horizon and the dark dust clouds that make up the plane of our Milky Way galaxy and that is our own spiral galaxy as we see it from within. So several different things here and essentially unrelated but giving us a beautiful view of the night sky. Now the other thing that we can see in this panoramic view is the stars moving. Now of course we know that stars don't actually move, nor does the Milky Way, at least not on the scales that we see them. All of the motions that we see in these is caused by the Earth. And that is the Earth's rotation on its axis once every day that is then reflected in the motion of the stars. So the Earth rotates from west to east every day causing stars and the Milky Way and other objects to appear to rise in the east and set in the west. So that was our picture of the day for June 26th of 2024. It was titled Time Lapse, Aurora, SAR, and the Milky Way. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.